it's Jen and I'm here with another layout for Pink Paisley today. I am scrapbooking this photo of my daughter when she got student of the month and so I'm using this superstar cut file. This is from Paige Evans uh, Silhouette Shop and I will link to the cut file in the video description as per usual. I'm also using a few pieces of paper, well a few bits and pieces from her new whimsical collection including this one and then I have some that I might cut I might cut some of these like books and scissors out of here because it's a school themed layout so I might uh, cut like the pencils or something like that. And then I have a few other papers I might cut stuff out of that I've already kind of cut into. And then other than that I just have, I have a bag of scraps that are just all my pink paisley scraps and I'm going to dig into this a little bit. And then I pulled some items uh, that I think might go along with this layout as well just in this little bin to the side. So. That's where I'm getting started, and I'll go ahead and put you on fast forward. Okay, so I'm going to start by trimming off the branding strip here, and I am going to keep all of the branding strips for this collection because I want to try making a layout with them. Uh, I'm going to put my photo, which is a 3 by 4 onto a piece of white cardstock so it has kind of a large white border. And then I'm going to decide what I want to use to back that cut file. So I want to do each letter in a different color. So I'm just pulling out my scraps, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And that's what I'm going to use to kind of back these cut files. So I just have all my pink paisley scraps in a page protector. And I keep them all together like that. Most of my other scraps I keep separate. But I keep these ones together just for design team layouts and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and trace the inner edge of these uh, pieces so that I can cut them out and then end up backing the cut file with it. So I used yellow for the star and you can see here I've got some of it done over there to the left and I'm just making each letter a different color and I'm choosing either like very subtly patterned papers or pattern pattern papers that are just kind of like a texture. I don't want any bold patterns in there because I I don't know, I started doing it and most of the patterns were pretty plain and then I liked the way that was looking. So uh, I just decided to go ahead and keep them all that way. So I'm just picking and choosing different colors on the pattern papers that are scraps. I figure if it's a scrap, I've already used it. I've heard Chamel say this before, but you've already used it once and that first time you used it, that was kind of like like what, what you, now it's just a scrap and you can do whatever you want with it and I'm okay cutting it up. So I'm just uh, cutting around the outside edges, making sure that there are no pieces peeking through. And I'm going to work on the design of my layout now. So I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to lay this all out. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking I might use some of these frames. I did not end up doing that. I'm just pulling out all the die cuts that I had. I've gone through all of my die cuts from uh, my various Pink Paisley collections and just kind of chosen things that might work with this theme of my daughter being a superstar at school. And so there were a bunch that I pulled from the Wild Child collection. It has a lot of uh, icons and words that go well with this kind of theme. And I'm going to use that dancing panda in the middle of the star. And I think it fits perfectly. It just looks so cute. And it's like celebrating her getting student of the month. It's, I don't know when else I would have used that. It's just funny. Oh, that was my friend CJ. She thinks that I should put her picture on this <laughs> layout instead of Malia's. Um, that's her school photo. She's a teacher. Anyway, I don't, I don't end up scrapbooking that for this layout. I go ahead with Malia's photo as I had planned, but I will scrapbook that photo, I'm sure, at some other time. So I'm using that word extraordinary, and I like how it has a rainbow of colors in it, just like my title. And now I'm looking at the Wild Child sticker sheet to see if there's anything from that that I might want to add. I do like that star patterned paper, and that's from the new uh, Pages new collection called Whimsical. And the background is also from that collection. So there are a lot of pieces, like B sides in that collection, that are good for backgrounds. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm going ahead and putting some thin foam tape on the back of the entire cut file because I want to pop it up a little bit. And I'm, this is from close to my heart, that foam tape, and you can just rip it, and I like that about it. Um, I usually use my foam, like my fun foam, but in this instance, I just, I wanted a little bit thinner, and so I used the close to my heart thin foam adhesive roll. Just making sure it's all covered there. I, I tend to sometimes overdo it on the adhesive, but I'd rather it stick, so I'm okay with it. 
At this point, I'm trying to think if I want something beneath the stars, like if I want another paper behind it to make it stand out a little more or something. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. So I just grabbed the other piece that I had cut off of it, and I'm actually going to layer the two pattern papers that are the same. I'm going to layer those up together, and it's going to be very subtle, and it's just giving it a little bit of texture, and I will emphasize that texture in just a minute. But what I'm doing first is punching a notebook edge border into the smaller piece of paper and then I will layer the larger piece on top of it and you'll see it here again in just a minute um, I had some pieces of paper that weren't quite sticking to the cut file so I'm just grabbing my glue and putting a little bit more adhesive on there just felt like I needed a little bit more so now I'm kind of ready to arrange my layout. This is a layout that I've been going to a lot lately, which is kind of like a vertical design or it's a kind of a T-squared design, but uh, I put every, like the main subject matter down the center of the page. And so I did my photo and the, the word, extra, or my photo, the title and the word extraordinary all centered up starting at the top. And then I'm gonna put this star strip across at the bottom because that's where I kind of want your eye to stop for a minute is at that, picture of my daughter and at her certificate. And so I think putting that, that pattern paper right there helps your eye, like going all the way across the page, it helps your eye kind of stop there for a minute. It's a, it's a little bit arresting when you're, when your eyes are going down the page. Now all of a sudden it, it's got that little barrier. So here's where I'm kind of roughing up the edges of the paper, just so it is like, it's visually, they're two separate pieces and I wanted that. Uh, even though they are the same pattern. So I really like the way that turned out. It's like a subtle detail that still makes a little bit of an impact. So here I'm going back to the fun foam and I'm gonna pop up my photo. And the fun foam is just a little bit thicker than the title. So if I wanted to, I can overlay the photo a little a little bit on it. And I, so I do that slightly. Uh, and so the Superstar rests perfectly underneath it because the foam is just slightly thinner. And now I'm going through some of my embellishments, trying to decide what I want to do for embellishment to this page. I know I want to keep it pretty simple. Sometimes keeping things simple is hard for me. Anyway, at that point when I was putting my hands up there, I realized that my title was completely not centered. So I peeled it up and I stuck it down again because I was super frustrated with it. <laughs> um, I had a, a hard time getting lots of things centered onto this layout, but that's okay. I worked it out. So at this point, I'm kind of grabbing some different embellishments, trying to decide what to do. Uh, I just thought maybe I just need to keep going down that center line. I like the dreamer there because it brings that whole uh, word, rainbow word thing down. And I've got that going on twice above the photo. So let, bringing the dreamer down below the photo was something that just felt right to me. Um, I liked that word, yes, the speech bubble coming from the panda, like it was saying, yes, you did it. Uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is cut up one of these papers. It's paper number five, I think, and it has lots of different shapes on it that have to do with crafting, but a lot of those shapes transfer over to school as well. So I cut out some pencils, and I can't remember if I cut out a paintbrush, but I do cut out pencils and I think an eraser and some other things and I'm going to kind of play around with them on the layout and then I kind of decided that I really liked the idea of kind of matching some of those embellishments to the words in my title to the superstar and so you can see that little pencil on the on the blue R that kind of did it for me I I put it there and I loved it so I decided to find things that I could put on each one of those letters and so I cut out a little push pin and that's gonna go on the red T. That green pencil will go on the S for now. There's a little pencil sharpener and that goes on the light purple. And then there's a pen that's gonna go on the dark purple. And I think I actually end up switching that one out as well. Maybe not, but I think so because I didn't love the way that it looked the same as the pencil below it. Um, I'm gonna get a little piece of, there's like a faux piece of washi tape and I'm gonna use that as well, and you'll see that in just a minute. I cut out another pencil, and I think here's where I'm cutting out the tape. Oh, I cut another push pin in purple, the dark purple, and I think I go with that rather than the pen, just because of what I said before. I didn't want 
two pens right next to each other. So there's the little faux piece of tape and I just kind of put it across the join of the U and the P. So that will cover both of those. And then there is a little pencil on the E and this push pin will go on the R. So now I have something on every single letter. The panda isn't yellow and it doesn't necessarily go with a color, but it is the star and it fits that space. So I like the way it looks a lot, a lot actually. So now I'm looking through the puffy stickers and I'm thinking, do I wanna add puffy stickers to these little spaces? And so I toy with the idea for a minute, but decide against it pretty quickly. I really wanted to use those paper clips. The puffy paper clips are so dang cute. Thought they would have been perfect for this layout, but I just didn't find a home for them. So I will make sure I find a home for them on another layout because I really dig them. So now I'm just putting down the pieces that I had decided for each one of those letters. I love embellishing color on color like this. Uh, I'm thinking it's something I learned from Marie Landgraf because I know she does it a lot, but I've been doing it constantly lately. I think it's just fun. It adds a lot of interest without uh, be getting things too hectic because the colors match so your eyes don't go too crazy. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, I knew there was a uh, paper airplane and I was kind of not finding a good way to put that pencil on the S and so I was looking for a paper airplane that I could maybe put there instead and while I'm looking I just go through the uh, American Crafts Paige Evans sticker book and I pulled out a bunch of stars and I was thinking I can uh, scatter those along the layout and I'm gonna look through this book several times there are so many embellishments and in that little book you can use it again and again and again and you'll never run out of stuff it's awesome i love it in fact i'm using um another one of those american craft sticker books uh as part of a kit in a class that i'm creating and it it there's so much left even after several layouts 10 layouts so it's awesome those books are awesome if you don't have any of them be sure to check them out uh i'll leave a link in the video description of course so there's a little paper airplane. It's teeny tiny, but I kind of like it. And I just am thinking maybe it's too small. So I'm flipping through the book again, trying to see if I find a different one. And I won't, but I will eventually find one on a die cut piece. And I believe it's from the, um, I, I'm going to forget what the collection's called, but I'll link to it. Um, I did find the paper airplane and then there's a little trail behind it. So I will put the trail behind it as well and I like that little detail so there it is on the green I'm really happy with the way that turned out and now I am ready to finish kind of embellishing this page so I'm thinking I want to put a few things to the sides of the photo just to give a little interest and make it have a little bit more weight and uh, importance and so I cut up a couple of um, die cut pieces and just kind of tuck them in and slide them in. I, I know I want a little bit more gold because there is some gold in that extraordinary die cut. And so I'm thinking I need to bring just a little hint of gold. So there is a gold line on that embellishment that I just ripped up. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my date. I'm stamping it pretty small because I want it to fit on this little uh, label sticker. Those stickers are from We Are Memory Keepers. They're for the Typecast typewriter. Uh, but I just stamped my date on it and I liked the way that looked there. And now I am going to all of the stars that I pulled from the sticker book before and I'm just kind of kind of scatter them around on the layout. And I do kind of try to put similar colors next to similar colors like I did with the embellishments. And at this point, there are a couple of patterned papers in the Whimsical collection that have a bunch of word strips on them. And so I cut a couple of those out and I'm thinking I might use some of those. Um, I also cut out a little gold foiled frame and that is from the Pick Me Up collection and it matches that extraordinary frame. That's from the, the frame that I cut out and I ended up putting the date on. It is from the paper pad because it has that specialty uh, gold foiling in it, which I liked. So uh, that's the date. Now I'm trying to find something to put between my journaling and the date. And I'm thinking one of these papers has to have a phrase that will fit there and work for me. And so I found this kind of reddish colored 
phrase and I'm going to try that one. I'm trying to remember what it says now that I'm uh, creating the video. I can't remember what it says, but I know I put a couple of things that were a little bit snarky and kind of like tongue in cheek. Um, the one above her photo, I put a green one there and then there's this red one down at the bottom. And I really like the way that turns out. Uh, I think I'm going to finish this off with some Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine, but before I do, I'm adding a few more of those stars. I wanted to make sure some of them came to the bottom, even though I've got that patterned paper that has stars all over it. I added some on the photo as well, just for another little something going on. And then I'm going to add my gold color shine, and that is going to complete this layout. I went ahead and let it drip on top of the photo because I really like the way it dries on top of a photo. And that is all. So here are some close-up photos. I hope that you enjoyed this process. Try embellishing by color. You can keep things simple but still have a lot of interest that way. At the end of this video, I will link to a couple other videos that you might like. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not, consider subscribing. I add new scrapbooking videos each and every week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.